Uh oh. I just showed them the test. Okay, Mike just got high and then I told him and then he thought I was joking because he was telling me to take the test earlier today and I was like, I don't want to. But I knew something was up because I could feel it. It wasn't jet lag. I've been saying it's jet lag for the last five days. Actually, it's because there's a baby alien growing inside of me. So now he's just on the come down. He doesn't know what to say. Um, <laughs> oh. I actually don't know what to say. I am excited and there's a million emotions running through me that are never experienced before but everything just changed everything just changed like it never has before it's like getting a call that like i don't know it's not There's even that it's like it, like you're excited it's not that i'm not excited but it's definitely like um it's so dumb when they show people in tv and movies when they get really excited and it's fine if you get really excited mm -hmm. we were actually trying but it only took like a month <laughs> I thought it was gonna take like a year. One month. It's not that I'm not excited, but I'm definitely in shock and I'm just like, oh my God. And I had to, I, I was, I didn't have a panic attack even though it kind of felt like I was going to because mm -hmm. I think I am happy deep down, mm -hmm. but it's like covered by anxiety because I just came to terms with wanting to actually do this like two months ago at this time. Yeah, well up till two months ago, up till two months ago, you were- I was against it. You didn't want to have a kid. And then one day I came home and you were like, I want to have a baby and I want to do it now. We only did it twice at the correct time. <laughs> It's so funny because I just got back from Italy and I thought I had jet lag. The whole time in Italy that I was drinking, I had stopped drinking for this specifically. And then I started drinking while I was in Italy, while I was pregnant. I only had a few glasses of wine. And, and then I felt great in Italy, but I felt pretty bloated. Then I got back and I was already nine day, or seven days late for my period. Thought I had jet lag. He kept saying, you're pregnant, you're pregnant. I was like, no, let's just wait and see. But then last night I was lying in the bed like, or like in the evening before bedtime. And I could just like feel something. I could feel something here, like across where my belly button is. It felt like moving, like subtle. Like obviously I understand the baby is non-existent at this point. It's not moving, but I could feel like cells moving or something. I could just mm -hmm. feel something that I've never felt before. And I was like, it's something else. And then we did the test. There's a whole new feeling. Yeah, and this dizziness I've been feeling and kind of this craving for fruit and this like slight nauseousness. I haven't thrown up or anything. I've actually been working, but I've had this like very low grade nausea and eating a lot of fruit which is bizarre for me. Is this supposed to happen in like the first month? I don't know. I have zero clue. I know nothing about anything and I probably will continue to know nothing just the whole it. time. It's just gonna oh. happen. It's gonna be wonderful. Oh my God. What does anyone even do? This is insane. You take it one day at a time till we get a beautiful little baby. Oh my God. I'm gonna fucking lose to my mind. You know, actually what's funny, I thought I had jet lag, but for the whole week I was felt out of body. Mm -hmm. And I think my, what's gonna happen this whole thing, I'm gonna be out of body for the whole thing. And I don't really think that's a good idea. I think it's a great idea. Just completely check out? Yeah, man. Won't that affect the baby? It'll think I don't care. I'm gonna be so obsessed with that, you know? You know I'm gonna be so obsessed with like what the baby's, experiencing in utero because I've been doing so much therapy and there's all these in utero experiences I have in this psychotherapy that I'm doing. This is all part of the healing too. This is unbelievable. This is the most amazing thing that has ever happened to me. I feel like I'm in heaven right now. I thought the dog was the best thing that ever happened. The dog was this the best thing. too much happening all at once. The dog was the best thing that had happened in a long time up until this. And the dog was just a The dog ago. just happened on the same day I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Didn't we get her that weekend? Where's the cat? <laughs> Did we? Yes, because I said a 30 Because we were building a family. 30 days from the day she said to get her flea trim, and I said it was July 27th. Oh, I gotta make a lot of money. I, we conceived two days before we got Stevie. And we were talking about getting dogs on that day. We just said, let's have a family. You're gonna say something, right? Yeah. Hi. Oh, there's the top of your head again. I just left this charging. Oh. Hello. I was away and it said 16%. So what the hell happened? It wasn't charging. Mother. Oh, is it really hot there? It has been. Today it's better. Right. Toyota's here with me. Hi. Hi, Lauren. Well, you have your what air conditioning it? blowing. Uh, no, it's my little $17 fan. Oh. Do you still make those, like, little hats and stuff? Like, could you... Yeah. Could you... Yes. Could you make, like, a... Uh, could you make, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you make, um... Like, is it itchy on baby skins, or...? Because you're going to have a, a grandbaby, so I was wondering if you could make one for your grandkid. What do you mean? 
I mean, Lauren's pregnant seven weeks, and what? yeah, and you're gonna be a, gr a grandmother. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's so amazing. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. We can't amazing see your face, Mom. You're going like this. April 17th. Your birthday, basically. <laughs> yeah, my dad's is the same as yours. Yes, he is. Yeah. That's right. But I'm hoping it will be an Aries and not a Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> so tired I want to die if I do more than one thing in a day I like can't do it I have so much work to do for hot for food I don't know what I was thinking and then we decided to move so we're moving in about 11 days of course it's dumb because we don't need to move this soon but when I found this place I knew we had to move because I knew it was the best place and we wouldn't find anything better and we just had to do it now so that's how I roll I'm just Follow your intuition and go, and sometimes it's chaos, and that's okay. I feel like a shell of a person, like a vessel who has a new program put in it to power down, and it's just like programming this baby. Like, I'm not here, I'm not needed. It's just my body's needed, my energy, my food, my cells. I'm an irrelevant piece to this puzzle, other than just a carrier host. I have zero brain function. You feel vacant. I feel vacant, like a vessel, like a robot. And yeah, I have to go host these vegan Dale festivals. There's four of them between now and November. I have to go to Portugal and host Live With Purpose Portugal and move. Work on Eat It by Hopper Food. <laughs> I've had a couple of moments of breakdown already that I haven't showed. I guess I didn't really realize that it would interfere so much. I thought this month, these first three months would be easier. How's Mike doing? Well, I don't know. Why don't you tell him? Yeah, so it's obvious. Hmm? So it's obvious. You're stressed? Am I stressed? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Today, Danny said, men just worry about money. They just have anxiety about finances. As soon as you tell them you're having a kid, they just go into a spiral about finances, which is basically what you've done. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really worried about it right now, to be honest. Oh, good. Okay. I'm like uh, excited, embracing it. Good. Yeah, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about that stuff. Here's what I know for sure. I know that the baby's gonna be fine and like go to term. I know that we're fine for money. No, it's fine. I'm just not looking forward to the fact that I'm gonna feel like crap probably for nine months. For seven more months. Yeah. Well, it's not just seven. Think about it. You're also gonna feel like crap like for a good four yeah. months after the baby. You probably won't sleep for actually like nine months. Then I'll start teething down around. Yeah, like basically you. I won't feel You're not gonna great be for the rest of my life. No, I think, no, no, that's not true at all. I think that you're going to, it'll be around three years. Three years? And it's going to be rocky for you for a bit. Well, my plan is to continue to grow and build Hopper Food and execute Eat It by Hopper Food and go to Bali in November for Live With Purpose. In that's November. my intention. In November. Like November of next year. May, June, July. And go with the baby. Potentially, or the baby stays home with you. No, I would come to Bali with the baby. Maybe. <laughs> if, I, if I'm hungry, I have to eat exactly as soon as I realize I'm hungry. If I wait, it's not good. I feel sick. <laughs> then I eat, I immediately regret it. Thank you. Here you are, Your Majesty. I know, I honestly hate my life right now. I have to wear these sunglasses because I'm light sensitive. I took, I waited too long to eat, so I almost like passed out and threw up. This is almost like the first person who's ever been pregnant. Pretty much. Yeah. I'm very dramatic. <laughs> You're very dramatic. I mean, but this... it's so uncomfortable. I don't care. Like, I can't handle feeling this way. It feels so gross. I hate it so much. Like, <sighs> and I'm so scared about the weekend. I have to go to the Chicago Vegan Dale Festival. Obviously, nobody knows that I'm pregnant. And I think I already said this. I can't remember. But I have to spend eight hours outside in the heat, meeting people, wearing a mask. Like, I don't even know how I'm going to survive because I have to eat every hour or something and, like, drink 
so much stuff and a pee every five seconds. Yeah, so we've had to clean the couch because the cat dragged his poo everywhere. That's Michael's biggest drama right now. Is he has to clean out the litter box now because I'm not allowed there to. There it is in the corner. And it really glory. makes him angry every day how he has to clean it out. Yeah, it's a horrible job. I hate it. It's better than being pregnant. It is better than being pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather clean out litter boxes all day than be pregnant. That's true. <laughs> But Rabbit is soaking up this pregnancy. What do you mean soaking it up? You think I'm over-exaggerating and taking advantage of you, and that's not what's happening. I don't think that at all, but I'm saying you should soak it up when you can. I literally have a very hard time doing anything, so I just did a recipe. You can go show them the recipe I did. I can only do one a day, so I made it, and I shot the photos, and then I want to die after. I can't do anything else. It looks disgusting. It makes me want to vomit that. Yeah, it doesn't look too appetizing, but it's good. It though. smells really good. It's good. It's stuffing bread. It's stuffing in a bread loaf with sausage. I can't even eat sausage right now. Like it makes me sick. Now, Rabbit, why is the house all a mess like this? Didn't we tell them we're moving because we're really stupid and we decided to also move on top of everything else we're doing? As soon as we just found out we were pregnant, I was like already looking at rentals anyway because I knew eventually we'd have to move to a bigger place. So I found a really good one really fast and I didn't want to give it up. So we are, we're renting it now. And it's much bigger. It's double the size. She decided that rather than have the baby here, wait a year to save. Let's go get a bigger rental. More money. Let's go spend more money. Yeah. So we have the space. It's funny, I was talking to my buddy John yesterday and I was like, yeah, as soon as you figured out you were pregnant, you wanted to go to, you wanted to move into a bigger place. Now we've like doubled our expenses. He's like, the baby's going to be in your room for the first two years, you know? Not two years, no. Mm -hmm. I read it's only the first six, seven months and then you should try yeah. to put it Still, that's a year and a half away from where we are now. But well, it will gonna be- It's going to be better. Yes, it will be. I agree. It's a really lovely place that we're moving into. I'm excited. It's going to give us a lot of space because we are kind of on top of ourselves here. Yeah, you know, it's, it's nice I'm here, but- it now is because we'll literally, when you see this place and if you know anything about the LA rental market- It's dope. It's dope and you don't find this ever. So I was like, we have to get it now. We'll never get anything like this. And there's- So it's a four bedroom- Two bathrooms. Two bathrooms with a really big backyard and a three car garage. An enclosed backyard, huge amount of grass, or huge patch of grass for the dog. That's exciting. I mean, it's all very exciting. Yes, it is. I'm not really that upset, but it really- It just added to the stress that now, like, we have to pack everything up. A big part for me of getting this other place is I bought a Tesla. That's one thing. And now I have a garage They sound it. really gross. Yeah, well- Great. I like it because you know what? There's There's been times where I was living in poverty, way below the poverty line, and with absolutely no hope. <laughs> or hope was all I had. Debt was all I had. And now we're... That's true. Mike has lived a pretty uh, subpar life in his yeah. early days. Yeah, like it was, it was rough. I, I mean, I lived in this place called Crescent Town, which is basically like a housing project. And uh, I also lived in cooperative housing, my parents still live there. Exactly. So the fact that we've gotten to this level and we can do this, it's like exciting, like hell yeah. So anyway, yeah, I got a Tesla, my dream car, going to be uh, keeping the baby and uh, the, so Lauren being the baby and then the baby inside of her safe. <laughs> and also we're going to have a really nice guest room, which I, I want to actually have nice. So because, you know, Natalie has suggested she might come for, you know, a month or two and help Lauren at the initial, you know, after the birth. And uh, my mom as well. I'm hoping that I can, you know, fly her out here for a couple months because, you know, we're going to need all the help I think we can get. It takes a village, right? How do you feel right now, love? Terrible. I just had like a panic attack or something. What is it about your appetite? Like what you're eating? What's happening there? And then that makes you feel sick? Yeah, and then my stomach balloons out, and then I can't breathe. Really? Just after you eat? Rabbit, what are you up to right now? We have moved into a new house, so I'm unpacking everything. Michael did everything, though, because I feel sick, so I was pretty much a useless, a useless pregnant person. And you've got a whole new big kitchen, and you could say this is your dream kitchen, but you're having a hard time finding space but for it. On the outside, it looked like a dream kitchen. 
played my dream kitchen, on the inside it's another story. But you're just, it's about working out and finding your space. Yeah, you know, I'm so short, so a lot of this seems like useless space because I can't even get up there without a stool. So I'm trying to figure out where to put everything. It's mostly there's too much food. But come see, I can now work in here. I have a photo studio here, which will look better than this <clears throat> later. But I'm planning I can just have my photo area set up all the time, which is great desk and then I'll have props and probably food in here too. I see you have an upcoming appointment. Is that what you're calling about? No. Now, in a few words, please tell me what you're calling about. Modem. Okay, you want to know something extra crazy that I'll tell you? I'll just send it in a video message because when will I talk to you next? Um, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I was pregnant the whole time in Italy. Which is funny because I kept saying, oh, I feel pregnant and I was so bloated. Uh, we did plan on it. I just didn't think I was going to get pregnant so fast. So that was a shock. So yes, yeah, so I did make the decision to do this, but I completely agree with you that procreating is probably a really stupid idea. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think your ovaries talk and your hormones talk. And then there's like this thing where you don't want to like miss out on something. So anyway, I'm diving in. So far, it's an awful nightmare. I'm on the Portugal trip, so I was scheduled to um, host Live With Purpose Portugal with the Getaway Co. in October. So we're a couple days away from the start, and I'm in Lisbon. And uh, yeah, I had a pretty um, awful flight from New York <laughs> where I was hosting a festival. This whole time, the vomiting has gotten worse, so I've been vomiting like every day or every other day, sometimes twice a day, which makes it hard for me to enjoy what's going on, which is amazing stuff, but like it's just constant managing this queasy, nauseous feeling and a headache and dizziness. So for instance, I just vomited and now I'm going to dinner in about an hour, which is scheduled with um, some of the tour people that we're working with in Portugal. And yeah, I don't feel so great at all. I just have to like keep eating little bits and stuff, but I'm essentially always staving off the inevitable, which is vomiting. <laughs> and it's gotten worse, I guess, since the last update, so. I think I'm in my 11th week, approaching my 12th week. So this should start ending soon, I heard. The flight attendant on the airplane was like, I had it for six months. I was like, don't tell me that. I'll freaking die if that happens. Special I don't know. So I got you those pastel donadas, oh which are from God. Portugal. Those are Portuguese pudding. Yeah. Oh, I love them. Egg custard or whatever. <gasps> Sorry, best. you can't eat them. Oh, I miss those so much. They are so good. Those are the best. Good little squish. What happened? I know. Sorry, oh, that was on the plane. Like... <laughs> yeah, shrimp. Pastries with like a shrimp and like this. Yeah. <laughs> shoot and I get to be in a shot with none other than Kurt Browning 